What it is, guys, it's Josh with the Pride Productions back in UE4. Unreal Engine 4 with a 10th blueprinting tutorial because we need to talk about construction scripts. Before we go any further in the Minecraft style tutorial series, it's very important that we cover it. So, very simple, very quick tutorial. Before we create our blueprint over here, just right click and create a material first because we're going to need one. I'm going to name it CBP. Okay. That's because it's a construction blueprint material. Probably should have put an M in there, but it's too late now. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're not even going to drag it over, guy. We don't even need to do it, guy. Calm down, okay? Now, the thing is, instead of holding number three for a collar, hold the letter V and get ourselves that vector parameter. And then we can uh, we can, we can can name it collar and plug it straight into base collar like this, okay? Now, we're going to need a couple more, so hold the letter S instead of one so we can get a, we're going to name it metal. We're going to name it metal right there and plug it into plug it into metallic, you know what I'm talking about? And then we're going to get one more. So hold the letter S one more time. And we're going to name this one roughness. Oh, I put too many ends in there. <laughs> a roughness, gotta make sure everything's spelled right, okay? And plug it into roughness, and that's it. Now, the thing, you're thinking, why are we not affecting any of this? Because we're gonna do it all inside of the construction blueprint. Or I'll just say, we're gonna do it inside the blueprint, but in the construction script. Now, what we've usually toyed with is the event graph when it comes to the blueprint. Right click and create a blueprint class, actor, and I'm just gonna name it C underscore BP. Okay, okay, it's, it's like the same thing. But the thing is, what we're gonna do is instead of working in here where the event graph is, we're gonna work in the construction script. Now what's going on here is, instead of things being affected while we're playing the game, this is the kind of stuff that we can affect while we're in the editor. So when we go back into our window here, oh, we gotta drag it over here, bro. You know how we do now that we're in the BP or whatever not. But we can affect things in here instead of in the game. So let me just explain what's going on. Let's, let's really quick add a component. Uh, we need a static mesh, you know how we do. We've done this a thousand times by now. Okay, I'm gonna name it shape. It's pretty good, right? Because because it's gonna be a shape and it's gonna be a ball. So if I if I just type in the word sphere, okay, you'll see shape sphere down here. Boom! That's exactly what we need. Let's go to let's go to viewport so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we got this ball right here. I'm not worried about anything else. Now I do want to set the material to it though, right? So I'm gonna go over here, grab our CBP, but the, without the underscore in it. And then boom, we got a black ball. It's all shiny and metallic because it's got all kind of all kind of parameters that are being set. But here's the thing: we're done. That's all we can do. Go to go right here, compile it, and go into the construction script now. So we're gonna do a couple things. Now, now the thing about construction script is we can set variables, and then when we get them, we can use them outside in the editor. Or editor. Let me let me let me make an example here. Type in a, get a branch. Let's get a branch real quick, okay? And let's uh, let's plug this bad baby into it like that. Now, grab in. Let's go over here. You can compile if you want because you get scared like me. I don't blame you. Drag in shape. You know what I'm talking about? Drag him in there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set static mesh. You see that? Put one here and put one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug one into true. One, 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 one into true and one into false. You know what I'm talking about? Now, the thing is we need to set two different and make sure this is plugged into both of them. Okay. Now, the thing is we need to set two different types. We're basically changing the static mesh. Now, what I want to do is I want to right click on this and promote to a variable. And I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it is a ball. Is it a ball? Question mark. Is it is it a ball? Okay, and I'm gonna put this little little eyeball on. Little eyeball. Click the eyeball. You gotta click the eyeball. Okay. So is it a ball? Now that's what we're asking. Is it a ball? Well, if it's gonna be a ball, we might want to type in sphere again, right? And get the get the get the sphere. Okay. The shapes the the shape sphere. You get you, you got the you got the shape sphere. Oh, I found it right there. But down here, I'm gonna type in. I'm gonna type in cube, okay? Now instead of that, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a shape cube somewhere. Up oh, found him. Okay, so check out what's going on just 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 right there. That's it. If it's true, it's the ball. If it's not, it's a cube. Now let's go back here to the toolbar and save it. And just let me show you out here and let me show you how it's done. Now let's let's drag the old CBP in here. We got a ball. We got a little black ball just hanging out here, okay? It's all tiny. But if I it's it's it, you can see it's 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 checked here, right? But I'll uncheck it. Oh, oh, oh. It's not a ball no more, guy. I'm just lying to you. I've been lying to you. It's a box. It's a, it's a box the whole time. Okay, I was just, I was just playing with you. It's, that's all. I was up. Oh, nope, it's a ball. It's a ball. I'm just playing. It's, a, it's really a ball. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kidding. But anyway, the point is, there you go. You see what we can do? We can literally just sit here and go back and forth, and we're switching it between a ball and a box, and we don't care why. It doesn't matter. We just click, 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 click. Let's make it a ball because I like balls. Now, here's the thing. After we're done with this, we're gonna make a couple more changes. But before we do anything else. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and let's set the scale 3D of this bad baby. Let's go uh, uh, drag a wire from this and type in set world uh, up, 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 set, set world. There it is. Set world scale 3D. Now we'll plug both of these in there because it doesn't matter if it's the ball or the box because we like them both equally. But we do want to set the scale to be what? Something random again? Yes. So let's right click and let's 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 promote that to a variable. Okay. And I'm gonna a little eyeball. Okay. Let's put a little eyeball on there. And I'm gonna name this. Uh, I'm gonna name it size. That's all. Just 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 the word size. If you can spell that, it's very simple. But for some of us, it's a little harder depending on the light in the room. Okay. It's a little dim. Can't see very well. Anyway, the point is now I've got this second variable here. 
So like when the ball up, 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 I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, you can't see anything. You're like, I don't get it. It's because the scale is set to zero. But if I set the scale to one, one, and one, oh, 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 we got the ball. We got the ball. So what's going on here is when we're in the construction script, creating these variables, these two right here is a ball in size. If you, if you put the little, little eyeball on there and you got your little uh, details over here, you put a little eyeball on there, boom, they pop up if the BP is selected right here in the default. So I got is a ball. Is a ball, and then I got the scale. I could I could put that to five, and now it's it's not that, but it, it's oh, I'm just kidding, bro. You can do whatever you want. It's, it's it's a box. It's still a box, man. It's a little rectangular box, and I can I can set and toy with that. I'm gonna set it to three, three, and three. I got a little little sizey little box, and and I'm just kidding. It's a ball. So the thing is, it's like a bowling ball box, but you know the point is we're we're making changes right out here in the blueprint. It's really neat that we can do that and just size stuff and whatever not. And well, all right, anyway, let's leave it the way it is. Make a couple more changes. Now this is where I'm gonna drag in the material. So interesting enough, the the uh the the shape even though I'll, I'll go ahead and make grab another instance of it even though we can keep dragging off this wire um we we're gonna do this we're gonna go to create and we're gonna look for create dynamic material instance and that's exactly what we need right there now we need to make sure that we take the material we got we made the cbp without the underscore i should have put an m in and put it right here there we go. Element index is basically which material. So if your bottle has multiple materials, you need to set an index per each one. Element zero, element one, element two. I mean, obviously, it's just a ball with one material, so we're fine. You know what I'm saying? We're, everything, everything's fine. Save it because I'm scared. Now, the thing is, you're, you're, you're thinking, what are we going to do with this? Well, we're going to do a couple things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to drag a line and type in set, up, 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 set vector parameter value. Now, a couple, couple different things we can do here is the name of it was collar, right? We, we, we created a, a vector called collar, which means we're going to right click and we're going to promote to a variable and we're going we're gonna to bring it down here and we're going to click on the old eyeball because we like them yellow eyeballs and I'm going to name it collar, okay? Because that's, that's, that's what I do. I'm going to name it collar, collar. You better call her. Now, the thing is, if I go back about right here and I, and I look and I, I got the collar now, so I can actually just literally just click on this right here and set the collar a little bit. And you're like, man, I don't see... I don't see a lot going on, but you do now, okay? So I got a little pink box, and I'm sad. I'm just kidding. It's a ball. And the thing is, after that, you, you, you do whatever you want with it, man. You, now you can change the collar. You can change the scale. You can change that. We might as well go ahead and drag our, drag our other two parameters in here, right? Well, we're going to do metal and roughness a little different. Sure, I could set a, I could set a, um, a, a parameter for each one, no problem. But check out what else you could do. Just, let's use more of these Boolean values, okay? So check it out. I'm going to get a couple. couple I'm going to get um, a set scalar, okay? We need to get right here, set scalar parameter value now we have two of them right we have one that was metal let's go ahead and type that in there make sure make sure you spell it right bro okay make sure you make sure you spell it right metal uh-huh i'm uh -huh. getting getting real deep in there uh, and we need another one sorry i got, got a little scared there for a minute I need control c and control v that except this one is not metal right we named the other one roughness now the thing is we have both of these parameters Oh, God. Now, hey, look, like I said, we've talked about this before. I'm going to go in here and fix this real quick. You have to make sure these are spelled right. If they're not, it will not work. Believe that, okay? Now, let's move that over here. We're going to do a couple things a little differently this time. After, after This is going to plug into a branch, okay? Right after this, after it does the collar, let's, 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 uh, let's, uh, let's drag a line right here and type in that branch because you know we got them. I know we got a branch in here. We just got to find it. Branch, I found you. I knew you were in here somewhere, bro. Let's drag this down here, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to make another condition. Right-click, promote to variable, and go, is, is you metal? Is you metal? Okay, boom. If you is metal, then I'm going to say, okay, well, then let's, let's, let's set this right here to, let's set the value of the metal to one. But let's say, let's say it's not. Let's say it's, let's say it's not metal. Let's say it's false, okay? We're going to set the value of the metal to zero. Now, you got to make sure that this is plugged into both of these, okay? And there you go, uh, voila. Now, we're going to obviously need two of these because I'm going to do the same thing again. You know what I'm talking about? I got the roughness two times on that roughness. So there we go. We got this. It plugs into the branch and make sure, is it metal? Is it? Is you, is you metal, bro? And if you're not, well, then you're not. Okay, that's, that, that, that's it. Now, we're going to need the exact same thing right here. Except get rid of that variable. Didn't mean to copy, copy and paste that bad baby. Plug both of these into the branch because regardless of which one it is, regardless of whether it's true or false, it needs to keep computing. So let's plug this one into... Oh, 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 plug this one into the top one. Plug this one into the bottom. I'm going to get a little confusing. Come on, let's get a little confusing. We could put, is you rough, right? Oh, oh, look at that. Look, I forgot to click on the eyeball. I didn't click on that eyeball. Right click, promote to variable. I'm going to put, is, is you shiny? Is you shiny, bro? Is you shiny? Huh? Is you? Is you shiny, bro? Is you, that's all it is. A little question mark. Okay. Is, are you? Good. Now, the thing is, we're going to do it a little different because, like, if it's shiny, 
If it's going to be shiny, we actually need to make sure that if it's true, oh God, do not, do not plug it in like that. You have to press, you have to put the false into that. Make sure you do it like that. Don't connect these back. That don't, that don't, that don't make any sense. Now, the thing is, before we go any further, let's make sure this, this bad baby's plugged into all four of these. We got all kind of stuff going on here, okay? Is you shiny? Well, if you is shiny, then it needs to be zero. But if you're not, it needs to be one. So it's backwards from the metal. Because if I use the word rough, is you rough, bruh? It'd have been one. You know what I'm talking about? Can you, depending on how you word things, I'm obviously being overcomplicated at this point. But there we go. Check it out. We got the construction script. We got it. Is you a ball? Maybe. If you are, be a ball. If not, be a box. If, if so, let's, let's see how big you want to be. You want to be little? You want to be big? I don't care. And then after that, let's set the collar. Let's get the, let's get the dynamic material instance of the CBP and get the vector parameter we created inside the material named collar. And let's set that. And then let's get a couple branches and check and see if you is metal or you is shiny. And if you're both, you can be both. I don't care. Now, the thing is, now that we're back out here, you can see that we have all these parameters to affect. So now, while I'm in here, I can be like, I got this, I got this red ball, right? I got it. It's, like, it's kind of red. Okay, that's red. That's, that's red. And it's huge. You know what I'm saying? But only on, but, but, but only on one side. It's kind of it's flat. And I'm not going to lie. It's kind of shiny, but not very metal. So there is kind of like, a, and it's kind of like, you know, it's a, little, it's a little like a frisbee. Just kidding. It's a box. <laughs> just playing, guys. It's a box the whole time. I, I got fooled you or whatever. But the thing is, like, you can just keep going. You know what I'm saying? Just pick collars. You know what I'm saying? Now, the point of all this, the point of all this, she's like, man, it's kind of random. I mean, this is random. But the, yeah, that is random. It is just ridiculous what I'm doing. And who cares? This may not be very useful, but kind of. Think, think about what we're doing. We're literally outside in the editor now. And instead of having to go back in here and make adjustments, and instead of having to go jump in here and, and make adjustments, we literally are just chilling right here with all the parameters. We even pulled the ones from the material, put them into the blueprint. And then pulled them all out into the editor. And then if you have the BP selected, dude, everything you, you want a ball. Okay. You want a ball. You have to fix it because it's kind of flat. You know what I'm saying? But you can make it happen, bro. You can make it. You want to, you want your ball to be polka dotted. You're going to have to do more code, bro. Cause I didn't set that up for you. Okay. So sorry. Anyway, but you want a metal ball? You want a, you want a shiny one? You want a, you want a, you want a blue one? You got, you got some blue, you want some blue, you got some blue balls. Okay. We'll put it right there. That's fine. And are they, are they, are they shiny? All right, so guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, man. This is Josh with the Prior Productions. Just real quick, wanted to cover very simple, simple stuff. And the, I had to make this really quick, guys. Did not have a lot of time, but I wanted to cover this before we go any further in the Minecraft style tutorial series because we're going to be using the construction script to do stuff in there. So guys, thanks for watching. Love you, miss you. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you got blue ball or if you don't, if you, <clears throat> maybe or not. Okay, if you do, if you don't, it's fine. I'm not mad at you. But guys, hit the Facebook page because I love you. And, and, and subscribe or follow us on SoundCloud, capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end, Depression because I miss you. Okay, is this one of, is this one of those things? I love you. I miss you. Help me out. I'm just playing. But but guys, but uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the next tutorial, like I said, is definitely going to jump back in the Minecraft thing because we're going to need this construction script kind of kind of flow. Okay, to do what we're going to do when it comes to like the terrain generation. So get ready. Okay, love you. Miss you one more time. See you next time. Peace.